Good morning! Today is Math Tuesday! So, we are going to review our money. So, you remember how um, we learned, we did our piggy bank games and you learned about your quarter, your dimes, your pennies, your nickels. And I know it's a lot of coins to remember, but you can do it, okay? Just every day look at your at, at your coins and tell your mommy what they are and how, mu how much they are worth. And we're gonna keep reviewing it all year. So you, by the end of the year, you'll know what is a quarter, what is a dime, what is a penny, and what is a nickel. You'll have no problem knowing that. Okay, so today I gave you in your little um, math pack, in your, in your uh, packet, I gave you your, um, I gave you this little activity to do. Now notice that I crossed out these because you don't have to do these, okay? You just have to do A, B, C, D. That's all you have to do because you have four, four right here, A, B, C, D, right? And so what I want you to do is I want you to look at the card that says A, and if you want, your mommy can cut it so you don't get confused and you can just look at the A1 and you're gonna look at it and tell me how many pennies you see on that card, okay? How many pennies are in there? So remember what a penny is. I should have done it over here. Hold on, I'm gonna bring you all the way over here. Let me see, I wasn't thinking. Okay, so. Look over here. So you have, can you see very well? I think you see better right here. Okay, so right here, right here you have your quarter. Remember with George Washington and a quarter is worth? Mateo, Matthew, how many cents? Very good, 25 cents. How about over here? What is this one right here? Yes, this one is a dime. So notice the dime is the little silver one, right? And the little silver one, who is on the little silver one? Do you remember? Yes, it's Roosevelt. And Roosevelt is worth 10 cents. Very good. And now how about this one? This one is the medium size. Do you notice how you have a big coin, that's the quarter, and then you've got a medium size, that's the nickel, that's silver, and then you've got a little uh, a coin, that's the dime, okay? Now the dime is worth more than the nickel, right? The dime is how many cents? Josias, how many cents is a dime? 10 cents, very good, 10 cents. And so here we have our nickel and that's the medium size silver coin. And that one has, who's on it? Do you remember? Yes, very good. So this is Thomas Jefferson. And he's worth five cents, five cents. The nickel is worth five cents. And then the only one that's different is which one? Yes, very good. This is the penny. And the penny has Abraham Lincoln on it. And the penny is the only one that's orange, right? It's got that orange copper color. And this is worth just one cent. Very good. So let's remember our points. So let's look over here. On, the, on this one right here, it looks like they're all blue. So we're gonna have to pay attention to who is on the coin, okay? Or what size the coins are. So let's look at this. This one is a big coin and it's got George Washington on it. So what is that one? Rocio, what is this one? A quarter, 25 cents, a quarter, very good. So we have one quarter. Let's see if we can find another quarter. This one is not, this one is not. No, 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 no. Oh, 
this one is a big one and it's got an eagle. Oh, that might be the back of one of our coin. Okay, so I know sometimes they have different things because they're changing the coin, but the, the, the original one had the eagle on it, okay? And so this is a quarter as well. So we have a quarter over here and a quarter over here, and this is not a quarter and this is not a quarter. So how many quarters do we have? Yes, we have two quarters. Very good, we have two quarters. So right here, you have to look, oh, we started with the quarters. We should have started with the pennies, but that's okay. Here is quarters, it's at the end. So right here, you're gonna write two, a number two in front of it. We have two quarters, okay? Very good. All right, let's investigate and see how many, we'll start over here with the pennies. How many pennies do we have? So we're looking for Abraham Lincoln, right? And the one that says right here at the top, in God we trust. Remember my little story? Yeah, every time you find a penny, make sure you say in God we trust, because we really trust in the Lord all the time, every day, don't we? All right, very good. So let's look for Abraham Lincoln. So we know this one is a quarter. Here is Abraham Lincoln, in God we trust. Abraham Lincoln, that's not. Oh, another Abraham Lincoln. So we have one, two. Is this Abraham Lincoln? That's a torch. No, it's not, not, that's not it. Okay, here is the memorial where Abraham Lincoln is buried. Oh, one cent. That is a penny as well. So we have one, two, three. Here's another one. Four. That's not a penny. That's not a penny. That's not a penny. Oh, here's Abraham Lincoln again. That's another penny. So we have one, two, three, four, five. How many pennies do we have? Five pennies. You are right. Good job. So right here. We're gonna write five. All right, if you want, you can take your, your pennies, if your mommy has pennies and nickels and quarters and dimes ready for you, and you can put them. So as you find them, you put the, the coin on it, and that way you can fill up your whole card with your coins, okay? Do that because that will help you remember what the coins are. All right, so now that we did the pennies, let's look for the nickels. And who is on the nickel? Who can tell me? Matthew. Matthew, who's on the nickel? Yes, very good. Thomas Jefferson, and it's worth five cents. So let's find the nickels over here. Can we find them? Dun, that's not it. Oh, here is one. Here is, here he is, Thomas Jefferson. Let's see, let's look, no, no. Ah, here is another one, Thomas Jefferson. No, 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 no. Okay, so how many do we have? One and two, we have two nickels. So go ahead and put your number two right here. All right, let's look for, now the last one is dimes. And a dime has who on it? Franklin Roosevelt. And it's worth 10 cents. So let's look for the medium size coin, the, the dime. So let's look, do you see any? Now I see him over here. I see Franklin Roosevelt over here and over here. And the last one is this one. So we actually have three with the torch in the back. One, two, three. So we have three dimes. So right here, make sure you enter three dimes. Miss Sarah's gonna write it for you. So we had how many pennies? We had um, one, two, three, four, five pennies. So you had to write five pennies. And then we had how many nickels did we have? Who can tell me out loud how many nickels we had? Rocio, how many nickels did we have? One, two, and th three, no, what am I saying? Even Miss Sarah's not looking very well. One, two, 
So two nickels. Good job, two nickels. And how many dimes do we have? One, two, three dimes. And how many quarters? Two quarters. Very good. So here we are. Now, if we count all of these, we have five, two, three, and two. If you enter them on your, on your abacus, you could figure out how many you have. You would have five, and then three and two is five. That's 10, and then 12. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and we are good. We got it. Good job. All right, so now you need to do your B card, your C card, and your D card. And you can do that pretty fast. So go ahead and count all your pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters. And you enter everything you find right here. And when you're done with your D, you're done for today. Good job, beginners, for learning your, your coins. You're learning how to count money. Good job.